Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll be solving another question from the hacker rank. So the question is the minion game. So let's understand what is this question. Kevin and Stuart want to play the minion game. So the rules of the game are both players are given the same string S. Yes. Both players have to make substring using the letters of the string S. Yes. Stuart has to make words starting with consonants. Kevin has to make words starting with vowels. The game ends when both players have made all the possible substrings. So the scoring would be a player gets plus one point for each occurrence of a substring in the given string S. Yes. So let's understand by example. For example, if the string given is banana, so the Kevin's vowel beginning word would be A N A. -A. And here A N A occurs twice in banana, hence Kevin will get two points. Let's understand it better by this following image. So in the question they are saying that they will give a string. So here example is banana. So Stuart is one player, Kevin is another player. So Stuart can form substrings starting with consonants that means except A E I O U. Stuart can form the substrings with those letters which start except A E I O and Kevin has to start the substring with A E I O U only. So in the banana, so this B is a consonant, right? So the Stuart can for, can uh, form the substrings B, N. Let me take to my note so that I can explain it better. So example is banana. So according to the question, uh, Stuart can only start with consonants. So their starting letter has to be consonant. Substring starting has to be consonant. So if we uh, see this string, so the first starting letter is consonant itself, so B. So first Stuart can make B, and next followed by B A, next B A, and then B A N, B A N, and B A N A, and next B A N A N, and finally the banana itself. So there is only restriction on the starting letter. There is no restriction after that. That means whether it should be a consonant or vowel. But the starting letter has to be consonant for the steward. Right. So how many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we got 6. And next, we need to find the next consonant after B. So after B, A is a vowel. And next, N is a consonant. So we need to find the substring starting with N. So which is N itself. And then N A and then N A N N A N and N A N A. So there are four substrings, right? So which are starting with the consonant N. And the next we uh, after this N, we need to find the next consonant. A is a vowel, and next consonant is N. So here N and E N A. So these are all the possible substring where the Stuart uh, can form. So let's count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need to sum this and this is the score of the steward. Similarly, the Kevin can only form the substrings which are starting with vowels. So in this banana, uh, where is the first vowel? So the first vowel occurs over here. So we Kevin can form the substrings which starting with this particular letter A. So first A itself and then A N then A N A and then A N A N and then at last A N A N A. So these are the substance which are uh, starting with A and next we need to find the next vowel. So the next vowel is A again A. So A a itself and then A N A N and next A N A. So this is A N A. And at last we need to find another like we need to find all the cons uh, vowels, right? So the last is this particular A. So A. So we need to count these. 
9. So the score is 9. So the score of Stuart is greater than Kevin. So we need to print Stuart and it the score. And if the Kevin score will be greater than Stuart, then we need to print Kevin and Kevin score. If there is a draw, then we need to print draw. That means if both scores match, then we need to print just draw. Okay, we understood uh, what is a problem statement. Actually, I think I hope you exactly understood what I'm trying to say. We just need to find the substrings which are starting with uh, consonants for Stuart and which are starting with vowels for the Kevin. So for that, we need to follow an algorithm. Let me go back to the hacker rank and just show you the input and output. So input format should be, it will be accepting the string and the string can, can only contain the uppercase letters. And these are the constraints and this is sample input and steward 12. Yes, pretty much. This is what uh, the explanation. Let's uh, go back to the one note and see the algorithm. Let me zoom in. Yeah. So the algorithm which we'll follow is so any string given. First, we need to find its length. So any string. So here the banana is given. So the length of the uh, string is six. So which I found out. Initially, both players have the scores as zero right so player one player two so here the player one let's take as Stuart and player two as Kevin so player one will be Stuart and player two will be Kevin that means player one Stuart can contain the substrings starting with consonants and the Kevin can contain the substrings which start with vowels so let's write it over here Stuart and Kevin okay then after giving this scores 0 to both the players we are defining a variable called vowel and writing a e i o u as a string so we will make use of this uh, that's why we are writing in the vowel or you can directly use it anywhere as a string but we are keeping in a variable so using this for loop so why are we using this for loop is because we need to get hold of each uh, character over right over here we need to get hold of b and next a and then this one so that's why we are using a for loop in order to iterate through this string we are not actually iterating uh, uh, through the string directly but we are first we'll pass the length of the string so the length of the string is passed which is six from that we will get each position I mean uh, whatever is the length of the string that we will pass to the range function so that a sequence is generated here it is 6 so here it will be replaced by 0 comma 6 actually so a sequence is generated starting from 0 till 5 not including 6 right and each time we will get this particular uh, value so initially I will be 0 and then next 1 2 3 till 5 so we will be getting the positions right so first 0 this b and then next 1 2 2 3 4 and 5 so basically here i is the position right in each iteration it's a position first after getting that position we will check whether the first one uh, Initially it is 0 right so initially i is 0 so we will check s of i not in vowel what does this mean that means this means s of 0 not in s of 0 means what here it is b so b not in vowel that means so is it present b is it present in a e i w it is not present so this will become true so what not in and in these are membership operator which will compare two values s of i is one value bubble is another value so these are two strings right so this not in is a membership operator which will uh, compare these two if s of i is not in vowel 
then this expression will become true right actually here uh, s, uh, s of i which is b initially is not in a vowel so b is not in this a e i o u hence this uh, if condition will become true and we will enter inside so player 1 is equal to player 1 so these are 0 what we are doing over here is length of the substring this is the length of the substring right so here if you see we actually don't need all these strings right we just need to find the count of this so what is the count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is equal to the this substring itself the length so that means we will just pass the substring into the length function and hence we will get the string uh, string length and that is a score right so score is nothing but we, we'll, we need to count these in occurrences of these substrings so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so that is the score so that's why we just calculate the length of the substring and we will add it to the player score right uh, after the first iteration b is completed right b is completed and score of the player one is updated to 6 and we will go to the next so i will become 1 and s of i we will see s of i which is a not in vowel a not in vowel is false because a is present in the vowel so this condition is not actually run and the else part will be executed so player 2 is equal to player 2 uh, so it is 0 and after that here also we are finding the length of the substring so what we are doing over here is so length of s of i colon here i right now is 1 so s of 1 colon that means we are trying to find the length of this particular substring so earlier in the first iteration uh, i was 0 so we are just finding the length of this whole string but now we are starting from here and finding the length of the substring right so when we say s one colon that means starting from here we are trying to find the length of the string right that is the score itself right so if you go to the kevin it is five a a n a n a a n a n a n a n a so that is the score itself right the length of the substring is equal to the score of the player so we need we don't need these uh, substrings to store anywhere or print we just need the count of them that's why we are using the length of the substring yes uh, i hope you understood what i'm trying to uh, explain uh, we are just trying to find the length of the substring the length of that substring is equal to the score of that player right so we, uh, after finishing these two we will go to this one n we will check whether it is a vowel or not if it's not a vowel then we will go over here and find the length of this substring which is 4 and we will add that to the player score that's how we iterate through all these characters and find whether the each character is a vowel or not and find the length of the substring and add it to the player score or update it to the player score and that's how we will find the the score of each player Stuart or Kevin but here is one uh, catch that if you are trying to use this particular approach that means we are using the string slicing we will first calculate so here we are using a string slicing that means when we say yes of uh, two colon that means starting from over here n a n a we will get over here so basically what we will get over here is n a n a and for that we are calculating the length so this is uh, this approach is good but it will take uh, time in the hacker rank some few test cases will pass and another will fail so that's why we will take another approach where we will find the length of the total string and subtract the position number so since i is a position number if we are over here so we will find the length of the total string which is 6 
minus the position number so 6 minus 2 so 0 1 2 is 4 actually so we will take this particular approach that uh, so that all the test cases will be passed in the hacker rank and that's how we will uh, solve or we will, that's how we will find the player scores and next uh, after that after finding the player scores we will check if the player score is greater than player 2 score we will just print this using the f string Stuart player 1 if player 1 score is less than player 2 Kevin space player 2 score uh, and if not that means if these two cases are not actually true then that means both the player score is uh, equal that's why we will print draw let's try to run score a. so this has passed the test case let's submit the code it should pass all the test cases yes it has passed all the test cases yeah that's it guys uh, for this video uh, i hope you, you have understood uh, this particular question was uh, tricky so you can watch uh, more than once in order to understand basically we are we are trying to find the length of the substring so that that is equal to the score of the player